Welcome back everybody, it's Mr. Conway again. Today I'm going to show you how to get four lights to blink back and forth. So we're gonna put a little bit more animation into our lights than we have been. It's a really neat project and I'm glad I get to show you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, dig in. Uh, we're gonna start off right here in our assignment page. Uh, if you are from my class, if you're just watching along on the YouTube channel, this is uh, just kind of our, our goal for this project uh, on the Arduino here. So let's go ahead and look over the instructions. Number one says watch this video. That's the one you're watching right now. Follow along with the video in your own Tinkercad as instructed. Number two, when you have finished building the Arduino project like it is shown in the video, submit the public link to the project uh, here. And number three, this is one we really want to pay attention to because this tells us our goal for the project. It says, this project will get four LEDs to blink back and forth using an Arduino. You should be able to tell me how to use the following when you're finished. And these are the same kinds of things we've been focusing on for the uh, last two Arduino builds. That's the int data type. That's the pin mode command. That's the digital write to turn things on and off. And that's the delay to kind of take a pause. So this project will have one light kind of traveling back and forth along the row of lights, kind of like it's a tennis ball bouncing back and forth between a couple walls. So it'll just bounce back and forth. That's what our uh, goal is here. And let's see if we can go ahead and build that. So I'm going to pop over here to Tinkercad. And just like last time, I'm not going to create a new circuit because I already have something that's pretty similar to what we want. And that's right here, assignment number four. I'm going to go ahead and click on my settings wheel and duplicate that. Give it a second or two. So here is our project from assignment four. And this is going to end up being pretty similar to what we need for assignment number five. Let's first go ahead and take care of the title. So we'll get rid of copy of, because this is no longer a copy. And we're going to change it from assignment four to assignment five, because that's the assignment that we're working on. As far as the circuit goes, there's nothing I really need to change. I have four LEDs here, and each one of those LEDs is controlled by its own pin. So you can see pins two, three, four, and five are going to control these four LEDs here. I've given five volts of positive current to the positive rail, and I've given a negative connection to the negative rail. We're ready to start rocking and rolling with our program. Hopefully this will go pretty quickly because uh, we don't really need to add too much. So let's go ahead and click on code. And because we've already turned off blocks, our text should already be there. Let's uh, start at the top and see if we need to change anything. So I have created some global variables here. So all of them are INT variables. And those are integer types. So you can see I have a global variable called lead pin one, and that's assigned to pin two, lead pin two, lead pin three, lead pin four. And if you remember, we created a variable in the last uh, assignment called weight, and that was assigned to 500. And we use that variable to control how long it's going to wait. And this will be very helpful for us here. This will keep things on or off for however long we need. So we're going to go ahead and keep all of these global variables. I like those because uh, it renames all of our pins and it has one for controlling the wait time. If I go down to setup, I still have lead pin one set up as output uh, with the pin mode command and lead pin two is output, lead pin three is output, lead pin four is output and Oh boy, I, I, we, I just can't wait to use this one. Uh, we're gonna get to it soon, but serial begin. Where we're gonna really wanna change though is right here in the actual program, in the loop section, our loop function. I'm gonna kind of drag this over here so we can think about this. Now, I want only one light to be on at a time and it's gonna work like this. I want this light to turn on 
and stay on for a little bit and then turn off and then immediately the next one turns on and stays on a little bit and then turns off and then immediately the next one turns on and turns off and then immediately the next one turns on and turns off and then it goes back. So it will just go back and forth like there's one light just going back and forth like I said like we're playing tennis with it. So let's get rid of all this stuff here except for that very first digital right. This is going to turn lead pin 1 on and if I go back and look at my global variables lead pin 1 is pin number 2 so that will turn this right hand one on oh that's a lie that will turn this left hand one on very first because if I follow this green wire back that's the one that's plugged into pin number two that means lead pin one uh, is over here on the left that's lead pin one this is lead pin two right here the second one from the left lead pin three lead pin four all right now I want one to be on at a time so I've turned on the first light. That's what this command does. And I'm going to just, just going to go ahead here and copy that. Now, I need it to stay on for a little bit. So that we're talking about the very left-hand light. That needs to stay on for a second. So if you remember from our last project, what we need to do in order to keep that light on for a moment is use the delay and I'm not going to delay by a number and I'm going to use that delay variable that we have or that weight variable which is right now set to 500 now if I wanted to speed this up I could make that number smaller so that it would wait a smaller amount of time so now I've got to think to myself all right I've turned it on and I've kept it on for half of a second because that's how long weight is what do I want to do next? Well, I want this light to turn off. So I'm just going to paste what I've already written. And I'm going to set that to low. That will turn off this light. And I don't want to keep it off. So I'm not going to use a delay. If I used a delay right here, it would keep that light off for a second. And there would be no lights turned on. And that's not what I want. I just want one light that's always on that's just bouncing back and forth between the pins. So what I need to do is I need to, without any kind of pause or delay, turn on the next light. So what I'll do is I will paste that in. And you can see, I've, uh, this is digital right, which turns things on. Lead pin one. I don't want to turn on the first light again. I want to turn on its next door neighbor, which is lead pin two. And that's set to high. Now I want lead pin two to stay on for a little bit. So I'm going to delay. And I'm going to delay by weight. That will keep it on for half of a second. And then I want to immediately turn that one off. So that's going to be digital right. And lead pin. Oh, I forgot to capitalize pin. I don't know why I didn't paste that. Oh, well. And I'm going to set that to low. Uh-oh. I hope you guys notice what I just noticed. I just noticed that there seems to be a pattern in my program. You can see I've gone pin high, weight, pin low. Pin high, weight, pin low. I'm guessing it's just going to repeat like that. So what I'm going to do is, it, yeah, it goes high, weight, low, high, weight, low, high, weight, low. I bet I could make this go faster. I'm just going to copy one of those high weight lows. So I selected that because that's the pattern that we move from uh, light to light here. High weight, low, high weight, low, high weight, low. So I've copied that and I'm just going to put that here. And then I'm going to go and look at what I just pasted in. And now I'm going to think to myself, okay, so this one turned off lead pin two. 
So what do I have to turn on next? Oh yeah, that's going to be lead pin 3. And this command right here keeps it on for a second. So lead pin 3 is the only thing turned on right now. And it's going to stay on for weight, which is 500 milliseconds. And then this one turns off. Oh yeah, what should we turn off? Yeah, we should turn off lead pin 3. All right. And then I've already got that copied. I'm just going to go control V again and paste it. And this time, well, I know I just have to turn on and off lead pin 4. All right, so lead pin 4 turns on, and then lead pin 4 turns off. And this is the end of the loop, so it would, if this is where my program ended, it would uh, turn off lead pin 4, then immediately go back to the beginning and turn on lead pin 1. So let's look and see what this looks like so far. So I'm going to click Start Simulation. Hopefully there's no errors. Okay, it's like we're halfway there. So you can see that the light starts over here on the left and it just moves to the right, but it's not bouncing back yet. So it just moves from left to right. Now I want it to bounce back. So I'm gonna click stop. So I know after lead pin four, this one over here on the right turns on. Well, after that turns off, it should not go back to lead pin one. Instead, it should go back to lead pin 3. So let's just go ahead and then turn on and off lead pin 3. So I'm, I have all that information copied, so I'm going to paste it again. But this time, I'm going to turn on lead pin number 3 and then turn lead pin number 3 off. And what needs to turn on and off next? Oh, yeah, that would be lead pin 2. So I'm going to paste my stuff. And lo and behold, it's right there, lead pin 2. Now. I think if I paste in, because some of you might be thinking, well, let's just go ahead and paste it in again. I'll show you that. And let's change that to lead pin one. My guess is that's going to look a little funny if we do that. And let's try to figure out why. But let's go ahead and see why it looks funny first. So, oh, and now it's bouncing back. But look. Look when it gets to one. It's like it stays on for twice as long as it should stay on. Do you have an idea why? Well, let's look at our program here. So if I go and I look at my loop, you can see I turn on and off lead pin one, then on and off lead pin two, then on and off lead pin three, then on and off lead pin four, then back to pin three, then back to pin two, then back to pin one. So you can see the loop ends with pin one. And when the loop ends, it goes right back to the beginning. And what's waiting for us right there at the beginning? Lead one. Lead one is waiting for us right there at the beginning. So that means I turned it on at the end of the loop and I turned it on at the beginning of the loop. So I do not need this lead pin one here at the end of the loop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Oh, I have to stop simulation, that's right. I don't know what I did. Oh yeah, I accidentally deleted the wrong thing. Let me click onto my code so I can delete my code, not my circuit. All right, so you can see the last thing in my loop that I turn on and off is lead pin two because I don't need to put lead pin one at the end because lead pin one is at the beginning of the loop. So I don't need to go one and then go back to the beginning and do one again. Ending it right here on two is gonna be fine. And this is gonna look a whole lot better. So I'll click start simulation. And look, it's like it's bouncing back and forth. So this is how like theater lights and things like that are programmed to work. Yeah, you know those uh, lights that kind of are, are on theater signs and things. Uh, so this gets this one light to bounce back and forth like that. And if I wanted to speed things up a little bit here, all I have to go, do is get into my global variables. Uh, 500 milliseconds, well, that's kind of slow. Let's uh, change that to 250 milliseconds or one quarter of a second. And that might look interesting. We'll see. Oh yeah, that does look more interesting. All right, a little more alive, a little more bouncy. All right, 
So this is getting one light to bounce back and forth. It's a really neat project. Uh, I hope you can uh, uh, get what we're doing here. You can use uh, this digital write and delay combinations in order to get things to behave how you want. I hope you uh, experiment around with this on your own and maybe make some of your own uh, kind of light shows however you want. But this is assignment number five. Thanks for following along. We'll see you next time.